Hello students, in this video we are going to learn about Roman numerals. It's an introduction session for the Roman numerals. You people may wonder why do we want to learn Roman numerals? We are having so many digitalized things. There is Roman number. It's an old age topic. Why do we want to learn that Roman numerals? Yes, I do agree. Even though this topic is very old topic, it has lots and lots of application in different areas. For example, you can see many clock shows time like this. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4 like that. And also in a computer, we will have this option also. In the bulleting option, we will be having this Roman number systems also. And in your school, you will be using grade 1, grade 2, grade 8, grade 4. Everything we use this Roman numbers. Is that no gonna? We are having many application. Though it is the old topic, it has lot of application in different areas. So we should know what is what. Yes, that's why we are learning this Roman numerals. And also it has few drawbacks. We'll see why we changed from Roman number system to another number system. What we are using right now. What are the drawbacks and how we overcome the drawbacks in this system? Everything later. Yes. Okay. Now, you just see all these number, how it looks, it looks like alphabets, yes? Okay, you just see this 1, 2, 3. Do you remember any other concept that represent like this? 1 for 1 line, 2 for 2 lines, 3 for 3 lines, 4 for 4 lines like that. Do you remember any other concept like this? You may see this pattern in the concept called tally. Yes, tally. We will use this tally to count the numbers, okay? Uh, for example, I am having uh, 6 apples means how I will draw in tally representation means 1, 2, 3, 4 and for 5 I will use cross line and then 6. Yes, you will use like this. Yes, for example, uh, 12, what we should do? For every count of 5, we will cross that one and then we will do. It is normal, it is the first basic uh, way of counting. Usually ancient people, they use this system to count that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 and 12. Each this one represents 5. Okay. Now we know this is 5 but ancient people they count like this. Okay. This is the tally number system and we use this tally to count the objects. Okay. This tally represent forms the basics for Roman numerals but however it has lot of drawbacks. For example, if we want to draw tally mark for 25. How will I draw? Okay, we will draw 25, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Yes, suppose if I want to draw tally mark for 1025, is it easy for us to draw? How many lines you will draw? If you are having complete lines, is it possible for us to count that we may go somewhere wrong yes we may do some mistakes so in order to overcome from these things they found the roman number system okay in this roman number system instead of this way of representation they change the way with alphabets and they call it as symbols in next video we'll see what are the symbols used in roman numbers and how to process that everything